hey guys i hope that i'm live right now if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no problem with the audio or the video please do let me know hello everybody i hope that i'm live right now if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video please do let me know guys Good evening everybody, good evening, good evening. Good evening everybody. Everything is all right. That's great. That's great. So, <clears throat> how was your day guys? How was your day guys? Please do let me know. It was great. Good, good. That's amazing. So, uh, did you guys do some type of revision or any type of practice in the past few days? Whatever we have been studying, do you try to try it on uh, yourself? Please do let me know. Did you try to uh, practice some of the class? Uh, whatever we have studied in the classes, did you try to practice it, guys? So, what are the different things that you like found out while practicing? Like any new insight that you were able to get, or anything new that uh, you learned while you were practicing uh, the same on your own, guys? Can you guys let me know? Anything new that you came to know or you practice? Can you guys let me know? Okay, that's good, Dhruv. That's good. Okay, so no issues in that. Uh, can you guys let me know what have we studied in our previous class, guys? Can you guys let me know what have we studied in our previous uh, class, guys? Please do let me know. IDs and classes. Okay, that's great. Basic CSS. This is, this is what we were doing in our previous class. In today's class, we are going to take it forward a bit. Okay, so let me just open up today's uh, PPT once. Give me a second, guys. Okay, in today's class, uh, we're going to start off with length in CSS. Okay, so we will have class on 15th. So today is our fourth day. Tomorrow will be the 5th, 6th, 7th. Yes, you will be having your class on 15th as well. Okay, guys, 15th will be our last uh, class. But yes, we'll be having a class on 15th as well. Okay, okay, great. So shall we start with our today's class guys, please do let me know. Shall we start with our today's class guys, please do let me know guys. I'm getting problem in relative address image is not showing in output. Just refresh your uh, collab notebook, okay? Not collab, code sandbox. Uh, just refresh it, uh, I think so. Uh, that should uh, make it work, okay? No issues in that let's get started so normally in your daily life whenever you like when you are living like your daily life itself uh you measure length in terms of maybe miles or kilometers meters centimeters feet so you use different units of measurement to basically measure uh length itself when it comes to uh building up a website okay so how far should the button be from the left hand side of the uh, website itself or how uh, like 
close uh, shared two objects or two components be on a particular website what should be the size of the letters on a particular website all these different things also need some kind of measurement unit of measurement so that we are able to create a website to be pixel perfect okay to be perfect itself to look absolutely beautiful to be able to do that we need some kind of length okay a unit of measurement that we are able to use while building websites as well now these are usually termed as pixels or percentage so you usually uh, calculate length in terms of pixels and percentage in the case of uh, building up a website now for example uh, uh, how many of you don't know what a pixel is like uh, what do you mean by a pixel or like your laptop screen is composed of pixels itself so according to that how many of you don't have any understanding about pixels guys can you guys let me know how many of you have no idea related to pixels guys code bulletin don't worry you could watch the video uh like when you're coming back from your practice as well don't worry about it okay so many of you have no idea about pixels no worries in that so if you have ever like switched on your television and uh, sat very close to your television itself you must have noticed like some types of rectangular objects that you are able to see on the screen of your computer or your tv itself uh, let's just look at it right now for example you must have sat very close to your tv okay and you must have seen some kind of these type of rectangular objects on your tv itself can you guys let me know have you ever seen this please let me know guys have you guys ever seen uh, this like when you sit very close to your tv you would have seen these type of rectangular objects uh, that uh, were there each of these objects that you are able to see is actually called as a pixel and each of these pixels uh, comprise of just three colors that is red green and blue that is a pixel okay each pixel has three leds inside of it that is the red green and blue leds okay <coughs> and a combination of these three leds basically produce a unique color at that particular pixel now that is called as a pixel now every computer every laptop every phone anything that has a screen on it okay is comprised of is made of pixels okay now these pixels themselves are uh, of a fixed size okay these pixels are themselves of a fixed size itself that is almost 1 by 96th of an inch okay that is almost the size of 1 by 96th of an inch itself that is the size of a pixel now when you look at a particular tv and it is said that okay this is a full hd tv that is it is 1080p that basically means that one side of it has like 1080p pixels like 1080 pixels on the width of the device itself maybe you have heard about let's say 4k display so there, there are like 4000 pixels in the same width okay so the number of pixels increases the quality of the image also increases okay so usually pixels are of fixed size and when you talk about fixed size that is where your concept of pixels come into place are you guys able to understand pixels please let me know Uttam Kumar I hope that English is something that you can read so you can definitely look at the uh, topic of this boot camp it is HTML and CSS we will have a boot camp in the future on JavaScript and react JS as well but not in this boot camp okay okay great so we can continue from right over there so now there are two ways of measuring any particular object for example this is a road so the width of this particular road is eight meters this is an absolute uh unit of measurement okay this is an absolute unit of measurement for uh 
उपेंद्र इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वन जीरो एट जीरो पी जस्ट वॉच अ यूट्यूब वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके राइट नाउ जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड इट एवरी स्क्रीन इज कंपोज ऑफ पिक्सल्स दैट हैव अ फिक्स साइज ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर वन जीरो एट जीरो पिक्सल्स सो यू नो दैट ईच ऑफ द पिक्सल्स आर ऑफ साइज वन बाई नाइनटी सिक्स सो दैट विल बी द साइज ऑफ द स्क्रीन ओके ओके सो राइट वो श्योर एज यू आर एबल टू सी वी आर हैविंग दिस एट मीटर्स ऑफ वेथ ओके वी आर हैविंग द एट मीटर्स ऑफ वेथ दैट इज एन एब्सल्यूट यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट वेर आई एम टेलिंग यू गाइज दैट ओके द वेथ ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रोड इज एट मीटर्स नाउ द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ मेजरमेंट दैट यू कैन यूज ओके द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ मेजरमेंट दैट कैन यूज इज अ रिलेटिव मेजरमेंट दैट द वेथ ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रोड इज टू कार्स वाइड नाउ इफ दैट कार इज अ स्मॉल कार लाइक नैनो दिन द वेथ ऑफ the road will be very thin whereas if both the cars are like trucks okay the width of the road will be very huge okay so it is relative the width of the road is relative it is not fixed it is relative to the size or the width of the car are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys Are you guys able to understand the difference between the absolute unit of measurement and relative uh, unit of measurement, guys? <coughs> Are you guys able to understand the difference between the absolute unit of measurement and the relative unit of measurement, guys? Great. Okay. So the next particular uh, thing that we are having is uh, absolute. An example of absolute unit of measurement is pixels. Okay, because pixels have a fixed size. When they have a fixed size, you if I'm specifying, okay, this is like four hundred pixels wide. So you know exactly how wide your uh, like component will be. Whereas if you are using a relative size, that okay, the width of this particular component is forty percent of uh, like the size of the screen. So depending upon whether you are using a mobile phone or you are using a tablet or you are using a uh, let's say a TV, the size Size of the component will change because the size of the screen is also changing. Okay, we will look into absolute unit of measurement and relative unit of measurements in practice. Practice as well, so don't worry about if you are not able to understand. But right now, if somebody asks you that what is an example of an absolute unit of measurement, you should be able to see that pixel uh, pixels is an absolute unit of measurement. Whereas if you uh, want a relative unit of measurement, then the example for that will be percentage. Okay, we. We will be looking at this from a practical sense, so don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, let's start looking at uh, the absolute and relative uh, measurement. What we need to understand is like the relative measurement. Absolute measurement is very easy to understand. Okay, so forty pixels. If I'm writing forty pixels, the width of the component is just forty pixels. If I'm writing forty millimeters, the width of the component is forty millimeters. If I'm writing forty inches, the width of the component is forty inches. If it whether it be on a TV, whether it be on a Mac, whether it be on a laptop, iPhone, it, it does not care about it. Okay, of course, a TV has a lot many uh, number of pixels when compared to your iPhone. But still, the width of the component will be just forty pixels, whether it be on your phone or whether it be on your TV. Okay, so that is an absolute measure of uh, unit. Okay, but right now we need to understand this relative uh, unit uh, measure measure of unit itself. Okay, so we are first going to look at percentage. Okay, we are going to first look at percentage. So let us go back to our drawing board first of all, and let's try to figure out percentage itself. Now, uh. when i write something like this okay when i am writing something like this div and inside of div i am having my h1 element okay i am having my h1 element inside of the div tag itself okay right over here so when i draw this out when i draw this out you will be having your body okay that is basically the entire screen that you are able to see that is your body tag okay so this is your body tag inside your body tag you are having your uh div tag okay inside the body tag you are having your div tag right over here this is your div tag D I V div tag and inside your div tag you are having your H one element. Okay, inside your div tag you are having your H one element right over here. 
this is your h1 element h1 and this is the thing that has been written inside the h1 element are you guys able to understand this okay if i'm drawing this out from the perspective of the web browser itself the entire screen is basically your body inside your body you are having another particular div tag and inside the div tag you are having your h1 tag right over here are you guys able to understand this please do let me know are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys okay so now when i'm writing for the h1 tag okay let's say that for the h1 tag i'm writing width is equals to 40 percent okay width is equals to 40 percent whenever i'm writing this the meaning behind this okay the meaning behind this is that uh the width of the h1 element is 40 percent of that of its parent element if you guys remember we have already studied about what is a parent element okay if you guys remember it we have already studied what is a parent element what is a child element what is a sibling element okay so when i'm writing width of the h1 element is 40 percent that basically means that the width of the h1 element is 40 percent of the width of the parent element so what is the parent element to the h1 element guys can you guys let me know right now what is the parent element of this h1 element guys what is the parent element of the h1 element guys please let me know the div tag straight choco what the fuck why body it's the div tag okay Pay attention to what we have studied up till now, guys. We're talking about the parent element. Okay. So right over here, when I'm specifying this, okay, that the width of the H1 element is 40%. It is 40% of the parent element. Okay. So if I'm drawing this once again, you are having your body tag on the outside. So it still occupies the entire window, entire screen of your computer. Then you are having the div tag inside of it. Div tag again is present inside of the uh, body tag right over here. And then you are having your H1 element. But this time, you know that the H1 element takes up only 40% of the width of the parent element if this is the width of the parent element then the 40% would be somewhere here okay 40% would be somewhere here so this would be the width of your new h1 element this would be the width of your new h1 element that is 40% okay now if I'm specifying both these things okay if I'm specifying for the div tag as well that the width 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 is let's say uh, 60% okay the width width is 60 percent for the div tag okay uh, can you guys let me know what will be the width of the h1 element guys if the width of the div tag is 60 percent what will be the uh, width of the h1 tag guys can you guys let me know if the width of the uh div tag is 60 percent what will be the width of the h1 tag guys Kamini Garg has written it correctly. I think so. Only she has understood the concept up till now. Uh, others are writing all wrong answers. Sohan has written the correct answer. 40% uh, of 60%. That's absolutely clever, mother. Okay. So try to understand this. Okay. So let's try to draw it and let's try to understand the same itself. This, what it means is that you are having your uh, body tag, first of all. Okay, you are having your body tag right over here. It again occupies the entire width of your screen. <coughs> then the width of the div tag is 60%. What is the parent element to the div tag? What is the parent element to the div tag? The body tag itself. So div tag itself is 60% of the width of the parent element okay so 60 percent of the body tag this is the middle or so up till here so this is your div tag okay that is 60 percent of the entire width of your screen okay then you are having h1 element that is uh, its width is 40 percent to the width of its parent element the width of its parent element is the width of div tag that is this much so 40 percent of this would be your uh, width of the h1 element that is up till here so you will be having your h1 element 
placed right over here that is 40 percent of the width of the parent element that is the div tag that is in fact so for example if this is 60 percent and then this is 40 percent of that 60 percent so with comparison to the entire width of the screen the width of the h1 element okay is 60 multiplied by 40 divided by one double triple zero this is equals to uh multiplied by 100 so that is like in percentage basis it will be 24 percent okay that will be the answer guys it will be 24 percent right over there okay so that is how like the percentage system works it works in relationship with its parent element okay are you guys able to get this please do let me know are you guys able to get this if you're still not able to get it your logical thinking as well as your mathematics both are very shitty you need to improve upon both of them start solving some puzzles on a daily basis if your logical thinking is not that great start solving some like mental capabilities uh puzzles it will improve that later on okay this is not ma like any kind of uh like programming it's basic uh, logic if i like if i'm telling you that it is 40 percent of that of the parent element the parent element is 60 percent of that of its own parent element then what will be the width of the h1 element it's basic maths and logic nothing else okay you don't even have to involve anything else inside of it see programming is just making sure that you need uh, know how to write or do something but to be able to do that you need to understand the logic behind it and logic does not involve any kind of programming inside of it there are some rules you need to know that rules and you need to just apply your logic to get the answer once you have got the correct answer you just need to write the program for that that's it as simple as possible right now we haven't discussed how to put up width of as 60 percent we don't know how to program this okay we are not even talking about the programming in general we had a rule the rule is if you are specifying it in percentage it is the percentage width or the percentage height depending upon what you want to adjust of its parent element so that is a rule and then the question comes you have to understand the questions apply the rules apply logic and get the answer as simple as that okay so it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be tough for you guys okay i understand that it will take some time you are not used to because most of you are like in covid batch itself so covid batch i understand that uh, it has been a very long period of time since you have applied your brains living at home copying everything all the assignments all the papers all the uh, uh, like exams as well but try to make sure that you are able to understand okay this is very simple there's nothing too hard about it okay okay but what if if you don't so this is this is all about percentage okay this was very simple to understand okay and there's nothing too complicated about it but what if if i don't want it to be on the basis of its parents width okay i want i don't want it to be on the basis of its uh parents width okay right now we were doing percentage that was basically dealing with your parents width itself so if you are basic or height okay depending upon what code you are writing if it's width is equals to 40 percent then you are basically dealing with the parents width if height is equals to 40 percent then you are dealing with the parents height okay 40 percent of the height of the parent okay so the next thing is what if i don't want to go with the parent what if i want to see with respect to the entire screen okay whatever real estate whatever website is opened up for the i don't care where my h1 element is if it is under like 15 different div tags i don't want to care about it my h1 element should be 50 percent of the width of the entire screen screen okay that is my aim okay so for that purpose you are having something called as viewport height and viewport width okay vw and vh where v stands for viewport and h and w stands for height and width respectively what is viewport uh the part of the browser that you are able to see on your screen everything that you are able to see on your screen is called as a viewport for example right over here the viewport is your entire screen of your desktop itself Itself. if i am minimizing it down okay right now the viewport is just uh, the part right over here the uh, purplish part that you are able to see that is called as a viewport right over there okay so uh, the part of the screen that you are able to see is usually called as a viewport okay so now what happens is let's say that we are having an, it's the same example let's take up the same example we are having the div tag right over here then you are closing the div tag right over here itself and then you are having your h1 
element inside of it this is the h1 element okay now the width of the div tag okay let's say the width of the div tag is 50 percent okay the width of the div tag is 50 percent whereas the width of the h1 element is uh <clears throat> 50 uh let's say that the width of the div tag is 60 percent okay 60 percent and the width of the h1 element is let's say 40 view vw okay width of the uh, h1 element is 40 vw right over here okay so how will we uh drawing it okay let's try to see that uh we are having uh, your normal body tag so body tag takes up the entire screen right over here okay we need to draw it in red so you are having the body tag it basically takes up the entire screen of your website okay that is your body tag b b o d y body okay now inside of your body tag you are having your div tag that is 60 percent okay so that should be 60 percent is basically uh 50 and then 60 percent of the width of the entire screen right over here so this is your div tag that you have created div tag okay now you have specified your h1 as 40 vw okay h1 is 40 vw viewport width not according to its parent okay it is not 40 percent of like the div tag we don't want that it is 40 percent of the entire uh, width of the screen of the entire screen so your h1 tag will be 40 percent of the width of the entire screen that is something like this this is your h1 tag right over here this is 40 percent of the width of the entire screen itself are you guys able to understand the difference between percentage and viewport width and viewport height okay are you guys able to understand the difference between the same guys please let me know uh yes shubham chand uh, uh chauhan percentage is always better to use in place of pixels always okay are you guys able to understand this please do let me know i want to see 350 yes sir in the live chat so i'm able to understand that you have understood the same guys I want to see 350 yes sir in the live chat so that I'm able to understand that you guys have understood everything. Please do let me know guys. great so we can move on from right over here the next is em okay uh, we will be discussing upon em as well uh, relative to the font size of the element so this is something that you will have uh, yes sir but little confusion about vw upendra please let me know what is the confusion upendra please let me know what is the confusion out there upendra please let me know what is the confusion Pendra, please let me know what is the confusion. So what is the confusion, Upendra? So the view, uh, the width of div tag was 60%. So that was in terms of the parent element that is body. Whereas the width of the H1 element was 40 VW. Okay. So it is also like, uh, you can think about it that it is also like 40% of the body itself. Okay. You can understand it as that. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, move on from right over here, guys. Uh, the next thing that you need to understand is about EM. So whenever you want to change the size of the text that you are having on any website okay whenever you want to change the size of the text so usually pw vh uh then your percentage is all used uh in case of like images in case of components in case of all these different things but when you are dealing with uh, font size okay that is the size of the font that you are having in that particular case usually you will go with em okay uh, even I don't remember the full form of EVM, so I will also have to check that. So, full form of EM in CSS. Uh, mm -hmm. 
it stands for uh I have no idea what is the full form of EM, but it ha it must have some uh, full form as well. So no issues in that. I don't remember it, uh, but let's start with EM. So usually when you want to change the font size of a particular object, let's say you have a paragraph tag. Okay, you're having a paragraph tag so and uh, the size is, let's say, E A M T. Okay, so you are having this particular size. Okay, now if you're specifying, okay, if you're specifying e, uh, size, okay, font size equals to 2 em that will double the size okay for example this font size was 16 pixels okay let's understand this the font size is 16 pixels so now it will make it to 32 pixels we are specifying it as 3 em as the font size it will make it to uh, 48 pixels we are specifying it as 10 em so it will make the font size to 160 pixels okay and so on and so forth so that is how em is usually used em deals with okay the font size of a particular letter or something like that okay are you guys able to understand this please do let me know 2 em means twice the font size 3 em means thrice the font size 10 em means 10 times the font size okay are you guys able to understand this please do let me know Yes, you can specify 1.2 EM, 1.45 EM and all these kind of stuff as well. Just so that you are able to understand, I'm just putting up as 2 EM, 3 EM, 10 EM so that you are able to understand. But yes, you can use decimal numbers as well. Okay, 0 0.23 EM to make it shorter. Okay, that is totally up to you. EM means empirical unit. I'm not very sure about it. Like, I don't remember it. It has been a very long period of time since I used the full form of EM. But uh, yeah, you can definitely check it on the internet as well. Okay. These units of measurement make the words as big as the area given to them or only give uh, the area but keep the word size uh, same. So these do not change when you are writing uh, like changing the width and height of a particular object. It does not change the uh, font size of that object. For that you will have to use like the font size method to change the font uh, particularly. Okay. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. Yes, uh, that's absolutely clever, Latika. Okay, so let's uh, move on from right over here. Let's see all these in practice as well. Okay, let's see all these in practice as well. So, uh, okay. Let's go back to our code sandbox. Let's open up the previously used code sandbox itself. Yes, there are default uh, sizes for everything, okay, whether it be your paragraph tag, your h1 tag and everything, you can just Google the same to find the exact font size, default font size that exists, okay? Bring that, we don't require it. Okay, let me just increase the size a bit so that you guys are able to see this uh let's remove whatever is not required by us and uh, we don't require the class as well don't require the h1 tag let's remove this let's keep an image tag right over here let's take up an image uh search for dev town dvtow and dev town dvtow and dev town Go to images. Let's take up one of these images. Uh, let's take up this particular image itself. Hmm. Right click, copy image address, source. It's a huge link that I've pasted right over here. So huge that it's continuous, it's just going and going. Let's 
let's put up some alternate text right over here let's see the alternate text as a uh, deaf town meme control s back to our website reload the page so we are able to get this particular uh like image on our screen as well okay on our website as well okay so uh let's do something okay let's do something let's change the width of this image is just too bad of a quality like don't we have some good images that we can use right now The quality of the images are not that great. Okay, so let's continue from right over there. Now we have already attached our style sheet that is our style.css file that we are having. So we'll just open our style.css file as well. And whatever changes that we want to apply, we would have to apply it inside of our style.css. But that is a CSS change that we want to apply. We want to select the IMG image tag and uh, we want to apply some changes. Let's say WID TH width. We want to change it to let's say uh thirty percent right over here. Okay, we want to change the width as thirty percent. Let's go back to our website. Uh, let's reload the page. So now it is thirty percent of the width of the entire screen. Now let's say that uh, let's not do this. Okay, let's go back. Okay, instead of using an image tag that looks like shit. Okay. Let's remove this. Instead of using image tag, we'll use div tags. Okay. We'll use div tags right over here. We'll create three div tags. div1, div2, and div3. And we'll name these classes as class is equals to div1. Then we'll create another class. Class is equals to div2. And we'll create another class is equals to div3 okay we are going to create three uh tags uh div tags right over here let's save this let's go to style.css we want to select a class okay we want to select a class so what how can i select the div1 class can somebody let me know how can we uh select the div1 class can somebody let me know it is 30 percent guys if you are putting up your fingers and counting it okay it is exactly 30 percent okay it, it takes five uh three of my hands to cover up the entire screen it is exactly 30 percent okay okay so right over here dot is how i will be able to select so dot div tag right over here width wid th width let's say 200 pixels okay and uh, we have a height as well h e i g s t height we'll set it up as 200 pixels again uh the next thing that we want to do is we want to put up a color so we'll provide for the div one tag we'll have the color as let's say color as red right over here okay so that is the color for the div one tag then we are going to select the div two tag right over here okay uh we are going to have the width as um uh, 30 25 percent of the width of the entire screen and we'll be having the height IGST height as let's say uh 30 percent or no 30 percent would be too big let's say 15 percent of the uh height of the screen itself we'll have the color as blue we will have the color as blue then we are going to select our div uh, 4 so div 3 and we will have a uh, the same particular thing we'll just change the numbers for that okay we'll have the numbers changed as let's say 30 percent uh, or like 60 percent width and uh, let's say a uh, 40 percent height and uh, let's change the color to y yellow right over here let's save this let's go back to our screen reload the page and nothing is getting shown right over there so i need to put up some text i think so inside of the div tag so that there is something that is being shown let's put up some text see if this go back to our website reload the page just went to some other page itself 
Okay, uh, okay, so instead of, okay, did I use color? Okay, that's the main problem. I needed to use BG color. Background color. So I need to change all these with the background color itself. So color basically changes the text color itself, not the color of the entity. So we need to use background color to change the color of the background of the div tags itself. So these are the div tags that I've created right over here. Okay. These are the div tags that I've created right over here. So I don't require the S as well. So I can remove the S. Save this, go back to our website, reload the page. Now it should look a bit more cleaner. So as you're able to see, these are the three uh, tags that we were able to use right over here. Okay. You are having the first one that is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Now just look at this. If I'm trying to uh, minimize the size of the screen. Okay. If I'm trying to minimize the width of the screen, the one with the percentage, okay. The one, uh, the rectangles, blue and the yellow rectangles with the percentage, their width changes according to the width of your device okay if i am currently using a mobile phone their width changes according to that okay if i'm using a tablet their width is according to that if i'm using a per proper desktop their width is according to that whereas for the pixels okay for the red one that is the div one tag uh, it does not change along with the size so for the mobile as well as for the tv everything the size will always be same that is 200 pixels the same goes on with your height as well so as you are able to see for the other two that is the yellow and the uh, blue uh, tags itself their height changes according to the uh, height of the screen itself but with respect to your uh, red tag okay, with respect to your red dev tag it uh, does not has any effect because it's an absolute measure of uh, unit are you guys able to understand this please do let me know are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Hmm. Okay, great. So now let us look at percentage and VW. Okay, let's go back. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to shift our div two tag inside of our div one tag right over here. Okay, so we'll have our div uh, two tag inside of our div one tag. We don't require the div three tag right over here. Okay, we are going to save this. Uh, we are going back and we are going to remove the div three tag from right over here as well uh, for the div one tag we are going to have the width of the div one tag as let's say um 60 percent okay we'll have it as 60 percent and uh, the height will keep it as fixed as 200 pixels the same with height as well we'll keep it fixed as 200 uh, let's say uh, 100 pixels right over here and the width we will keep it as 40 percent okay we'll keep it as 40 percent so we are having the div one tag that is the width of 60% and a height of fix that is 200 pixels. Background color we are having it as red. Whereas we are having a div two tag that is a width of 40% and the height as 100 pixels fixed and background color as blue. The div two tag is inside the div one tag. Okay, the div two tag is inside the div one tag. So let us reload the page and let us look at what has happened right over here. Okay. So as you're able to see, uh, the red tag takes up 60% of the width of the entire screen. Whereas the uh, blue tag, okay, that is the div 2 tag takes up 40% of the 60%. That is, uh, that is the width of the red uh, tag itself. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. So for example, if I'm changing this to 60%, okay, if I'm changing this to 70, uh, 80%, let's say, okay, if I'm changing this to 80%, this is 60%, if I'm reloading my page, as you're able to see, the width of the blue tag is 80% of that of the red tag, okay, the width of the blue tag is 80% of that of the red tag. Now, if I want to make some changes inside of it, okay, if I want to make this as 80 VW, instead of having it as 80, um, 
percent we are having the div width of the div 2 tag is 80 vw whereas the div tag div 1 tag has the width of 60 percent if i'm going back and reloading my page my blue tag will take up 80 percent of the width of the entire screen whereas my red tag will take up only 60 percent of the width of the entire screen itself are you guys able to understand Sion mitra it will not work because i've already told you guys that never to code along with me always listen to what i'm saying and then when the class is over then go and code because then you are missing out on pieces of information that i'm sharing because you are busy coding right over there in that particular case your code will of course not work because you have missed some of the things that i've said okay are you guys uh, able to understand this please do let me know are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys it's spilled out of its parent tag yes straight choco uh, choco as you are able to see right over here uh, because it is vw so it does not care about the size of its parent uh, it extends beyond that as well okay okay great so uh, let's move on from right over here let's look at em as well okay so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a paragraph tag right over here i'm going to have a text inside of it this is an e example of em tag and uh, we are going to save this we are going to have our p tag right over here so let's create the p tag and we'll have something inside of it later on right now we don't want to have anything so we are just going to comment this out uh let's save this go back to our website reload the page we should be able to see our uh p tag that is the paragraph tag on our screen okay we are having our <clears throat> paragraph tag on our screen right over here now this is the default size of the paragraph tag this is the default size of the paragraph tag what we are going to do is we are going to put up a um uh, paragraph we are going to select the paragraph element and we are going to change the font size okay we're going to change the font size to let's say 2 em okay we are going to change the font size to 2 em now if you are changing the font size of 2 em right over here in that particular case the um size of the text on our screen will double itself just look at this as soon as i'm reloading the page the size of the text will double itself Okay, as you are able to see right over here, the size of the text doubled itself. Now, if I want to double it again, then uh, to do that, I will have to do 4 pix uh, em. Okay, because right now, 2 times, so when I am writing 4 em, it is 4 times the original size. Okay, early on it was 2 em. So, if I want to double that, I will have to write 4 em right over here. So, I want to double the current size, I will write 4 em. And as you are able to see, the size will double itself once again. Okay, are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys are you guys able to understand this please you please do let me know great amazing guys amazing do you guys have any problem up till here please do let me know guys do you guys have any problem up till here? Please do let me know. Okay, uh, so today was the day four. Am I right, guys? uh see uh today's day four so we are having three more days uh in two days uh, i think so this would be over there's not a lot left so these are some examples then margin padding and then you are having your project itself okay Okay, so in two days, we will be finished with our CSS tomorrow and day after tomorrow. So there's not a lot left inside of it. And uh, then on the seventh day, we will be having our project. Okay, so please be ready for the same. It is sim pretty simple. There's not a lot that is there as you're able to see. Uh, CSS and uh, HTML is not that hard. Like it's pretty basic actually. So there's not a lot that you need to do at any point of time. Okay, uh, yeah. 
do we need to learn scss uh code bulletin when you go for future projects for example in our program we teach uh, scss only because there's a hierarchy in css that has been introduced so the difference between scss and css is the hierarchy so you can inherit some of the features and some of the uh, css properties that have already been applied to the parent element so that is what scss is there's not a lot of difference between the two but yes i will prefer if you guys are like if you are learning in the future then yes once you have learned css because you will not be able to learn scss without the complete understanding about css so you have to take it step by step okay okay so let me just create your attendance link for today guys give me a second create the attendance link give me a second guys this is day four send link copy copy qr we download day four august so you guys can go ahead and take a screenshot or like uh, pause the video scan the qr and fill the google form up for today's attendance uh we'll meet tomorrow again at six o'clock please be ready it will be pretty simple there's not a lot that is left uh okay so thank you so much guys thank you we'll meet tomorrow thank you guys thank you